problem four. We will read the problem first and then go back to the figure. In the circuit above, an ammeter indicates a current of 2 amps through the 4 ohm resistor, and a voltmeter indicates a voltage drop of 32 volts across the 8 ohm resistor. Find A, the EMF of the battery, B, the total current I, and C, the resistance R. Let's go back and look at our circuit. We are told that through the 4 ohm resistor, there is a current of 2 amps and a voltage drop of 32 volts across the 8 ohm resistor. From this information, you are to find the EMF of the battery, the total current I, and the value of this unknown middle resistor. Turn off your VCR now and try to solve that problem. Here is a diagram of our circuit where I've labeled these three currents. I1 was given as 2 amps, I2 is unknown, and I3 is unknown. I've also labeled two reference points A and B. In question A, we are asked to find the EMF of the battery. Now, the EMF of the battery is equal to the sum of the voltage drops around the circuit which would be the voltage drop from A to B, which for the time being we can simply label VAB, plus the voltage drop across this 8 ohm resistor, which is given as 32 volts. Now the voltage drop from A to B we can find from the information given for the 4 ohm resistor. The voltage drop from A to B is simply equal to the current through the 4 ohm resistor, 2 amps, multiplied by the 4 ohms, which is 8 volts. Therefore, the EMF of the battery then is 8 volts plus 32 volts for a total of 40 volts. So that is our answer to part A. In part B, we're asked to find the total current I. One of the ways we've been doing that is to find the equivalent resistance of the circuit and then use Ohm's law to find the total current. But we can't find the total resistance or the, the equivalent resistance of this circuit because we do not know the value of this unknown resistor R. But we can still find I. The current I also passes through this 8 ohm resistor and we can use Ohm's law on it to find the current I. I would simply be equal to the voltage drop across that 8 ohm resistor, 32 volts divided by the 8 ohms, and that's equal to 4 amps. So that gives us the total current I. In part C, we are asked to find the value for this unknown resistor R. If we knew the current through that unknown resistor I2, we could use Ohm's law to find R because we also know the voltage drop across it. We know V sub A B, which is also the voltage drop across R. We do know the total current. We do know I1. Let's see if we can find I3, because the total current I is simply equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. And I3, we can find from the information given, we know VAB, we know the resistance 6 ohms, so we can write that I3 is then equal to the voltage drop across it, which is 8 volts, divided by the resistance 6 ohms. Gives us rounded to three significant figures, 1.33 amps. Now the value for I2 then is equal to I minus I1 minus I3. 
and that's equal to 4 amps minus I1, which was 2 amps, minus I3, 1.33 amps. And this turns out to be 0.67 amps for I2. Now we want to find the value for R using that value of I2 and the voltage drop across out R. Let's get some more room for that. Continue and say that R then is the voltage drop across R, which is 8 volts, divided by I2, 0.67 amps. And this gives us, if you round it to three significant figures, 12 volts. I'm sorry, 12 ohms. So that's the value of R, and that is the answer to our problem. Let's move on now to our next problem.